Colohe and Dino going head to head with Italo Ferreira. Last year, Colohe finished 11th in the world, just outside the top 10. And Italo got that winning feeling, not just once, twice, but three times last season and sent the world title race to pipe. We expect a lot out of both of these guys when it comes to beach break condition. Colohe looking for his first. Things got started with Andino during the break. Yeah, you know, as we talked about before, Joe, this young man hasn't quite connected yet. And I think he's playing maybe a little bit underscored on some maneuvers up against, well, a man that needs no introduction when it comes to high performance surfing. He's done plenty of that through this event. And uh, well, when you think about it, maybe the man to beat Italo for Catching up with Italo. Yeah, you know, uh, surfed with uh, Kolohe yesterday out at Snapper, and he said, I'm, I'm going to bang on that door until it opens. Such a crazy rhythm for Italo this week at the Quicksilver Pro. He's winding up, looking for the ramp, throws another crazy maneuver off the top, pulling off the varial against Jordy Smith. Had a lot of heats together. Likes to pick up all the next generation kids in San Clemente, take them surfing because he knows they want to be where he is one day. Italo Ferrer out front, but Kaloha answering now. Throw tail reverse. Clean little wrap on the inside corner. Hacking away on that top turn section and the final little double up. So many maneuvers wow. showing a lot of power and control. And Dino slams it, giving that wave everything he had and some. It's going to be a good solid backup for him. Throws it out there. Didn't really have the height, but. All the work done through the inside is going to really boost the score. Snaps it off the white water, and watch how this wave kind of just starts offering in that little coping, and he just really tags it all the way through the inside, showing some energy, showing some confidence. And I'll tell you what, looks like Colo is firing at the right time here in the final. Looks like Italo's found some room here with priority, beating a 5'8'7 for the lead. Here he's throwing the tail into reverse. Power pack on the open face. Two turns with a lot of authority from Italo Ferreira. Making that wave look a lot easier to ride than it was. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. 5.87 required. You know, look at the snap and the spin came out nice and clean and straight into that next maneuver. But that's kind of really all this wave offered on. That's why these guys are good. I mean, when you know that it's very average surf and these guys are lining it up, you know they're good. Colohe's turn to ramp up. Likes this first section. Tail to the sky on the reverse. Looked like he had the landing. More to come through for him. He's up now. His previous wave, five, two, three. Full rotation in the flat. Slants hard and goes down. So on the two-turn combo, came up short. From the reverse to hack, Colohe kept the lead. Looks like Kolohe likes to look at this little inside wedge. He's flying down the line. Tail extended to the sky on the reverse, and he's got enough room to play with the whitewater. He had a few attempts at that. He gets so much height and pop. Perfect landing. Did he exactly what he needed to. Right there, you can see that back foot further and further back. Finds the spot, goes to the air, and pulls it off. Nice, clean rotation, clean exit of that maneuver. Hello, is going to roll in all alone, looking for another big section. Float for some speed, nothing there, he's out. And looks like he's going to make an effort for this right. Italo punches the fins out into reverse. Winding up for the finish, another reverse motion off the closeout. And he will ride out. What do you think of these reverses, Potts? Well, I'm not buying it, Joe. Um, I, I want to see Italo go back to... His bread and butter, which is above the lip stuff. That's what's been winning him heat. He's learned how to turn the pressure on and out whenever he's motivated to compete at a high level. Italo's got some speed. Tail whip right into the flats on the full rotation. Created space underneath Kolohe's watch. Kolohe's heart just sunk right there. You could tell his head spun around. And that's the thing with Italo Ferreira. He can uh, do big things on not much of a wave. Let's have a look. Double pump. Races down the line. Beautiful rotation. Comes out nice and clean. It's going to go into his top two probably, but is it going to be the 6.93? I'm not sure. Good height. A little flat. 
maybe needed to get the board a little bit more inverted, but absolutely stopped the landing. 10 seconds, Itzlo's just gonna go again, up and out. Oh. We're into the countdown. Kolohe has been holding priority for a few minutes. The 7.07, Itzlo Ferreira turns it on the last wave. finish and Italo Ferreira steals one off Andino his girlfriend there to celebrate somehow got in the pack in the Brazilian storm that includes the crowd your 2019 Quicksilver Pro Gold Coast champ and your new wear of the Chief Leaders jersey is Italo Ferreira